Finally, Luminar Neo is here. And today we're going to look at what comes with Luminar Neo and what is still to come. Now with this version of Luminar Neo, the features that it comes with has Sky AI, Accent AI, Remove Dust Spots, Remove Power Lines, Relight AI, Portrait Bokeh AI, Layers, which I'm super excited about, and a new feature that works with your mobile phone called Luminar Share. But still to come in future updates is Mask AI, Portrait Background Removal AI, the histogram, clone and stamp, dodge and burn, undo and redo, more hotkeys, copy and paste functionality to adjustments, more functionality when using masking like copying, pasting, pen pressure for radius and opacity, and linear and radial gradients. So first things first, if you guys did watch the sneak peek preview, you probably got a look at the new catalog structure. And basically what they did, they just flipped it from the right side to the left side. So all your photos and your catalogs will be here on the left. Now in terms of the thumbnail performance, before it used to lag quite a bit in AI, it did get better over time. I find with Neo, it's actually quite quick. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the edit tab and you're gonna see on the left, layers, hallelujah, we have layers. Very excited about that. And basically the way it works is if you click on the add new layer, it's gonna give you the option to bring in your images here. And it also comes with some overlays here on the left and you can try that for yourself. So I'm just gonna click on the overlay here and then on the right, you're gonna see the layers properties pop up. So you do have the ability to add a mask. There's also the opacity and your blending modes. And if we go back to the left here, if you right click, you can either hide the layer. And if you right click, you can show the layer again and you have another option to remove the layer. So it's great to have layers in Luminar Neo. I'm pretty excited about that. Now on the right here, you're gonna notice Crop AI. Now this used to be in Composition AI, so they've made it its own little feature here, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Now this section is new, it's called Develop. It used to be Light in Luminar AI. And this is where you're gonna adjust your exposure, your contrast, your highlights and shadows, your curves, and everything else that we had previously in Luminar AI. It's just called Develop now. Everything else is pretty much the same as in AI, except if you look down here under Professional, as mentioned before, no dodge and burn, no clone and stamp tool, which I'm pretty bummed out about because I use a clone and stamp tool, especially for an image like this, but we'll get into that in a second. Now at the top, you're gonna see edits. And basically what this is, it keeps track of all the edits you do. So for example, if I go to Enhance AI and I bring the Accent AI slider up, and let's say I'm gonna enhance the eyes here. Now you're gonna see a number here and that represents how many edits you've done. Now this is great because you can come back in here and look at the adjustments you made and tweak them if you wish. So as you see, these are all the settings I use for the eyes. And under Enhance AI, it shows what I used here. But you'll notice if I go back to Enhance AI, it's back at zero. So if I wanted to use this even more, see how that affects it even more and really brings out that picture. So next on the right of Tools and Edits, you're gonna see Presets. And this is where you're gonna find the templates. Now, this one was a big deal for me. And this is the performance side of Luminar Neo. The one thing I recognize right away with Luminar AI and now see in Luminar Neo, they are resource heavy programs. It's gonna use a lot of your CPU. It's gonna use a lot of your RAM. And it makes me wonder for those of you with older computers, maybe only have eight or 16 gigs of RAM, how Neo's gonna perform for you. This is called Armory Crate. And basically all it does, it monitors your CPU usage, your GPU usage, and the RAM usage. So currently, look at these numbers. The GPU usage won't really be a factor. It's only high right now because I'm using OBS Studio to record this video. But I want you to pay attention to the CPU and the RAM usage. So use this as the starting point and I'm gonna start up Luminar Neo. We're gonna look at how much of the resources it uses per task. 
So I have Luminar Neo open now, and if we look at the RAM usage, it's gone up to 33%. That's pretty normal, expected, you know, from a program like this. So what I'm going to do is go over to Enhance. This is one of the first things that I do. Let's see, first of all, like how quickly it does the task and see how much RAM and CPU usage is used. Now I'm going to slide this all the way to 100%. You see, it's almost instantaneous. The RAM usage, see the 79% on the CPU, it went back down, but the RAM usage now went up. 43%. So use 10% just for that task. Now let's try Relight AI. Now typically anything with AI takes a lot of computing power. So that's why I'm using these. So let's go brightness near and I'm going to bring it all the way up and see how long. See that only took a couple seconds. And as I slide it down here, see the CPU at 44%. Went back down. RAM usage is still at 42, which is good. So how about the brightness far? I'm going to bring it down. Maybe play with the depth here. So I'm doing this really quick just to see, you know, if I can break it. <laughs> but so far, so good. Now I know for a fact that Portrait Bouquet AI is very resource heavy. So I'm going to crank this. And one thing I want you to keep in mind as I hover here, it should turn red so that we can see, you know, how quickly it's done. So right now the RAM's at 50%. So let's crank this up. I'm going to hover here. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. It didn't take very long. So, so far, so good. Again, it feels a lot more snappier than when Luminar AI first came out. Now I'm going to do one more thing here. Let's do the eyes and the skin. So I'm going to bring up the iris flare, the eye whitening, eye enhancer, and 55%, 73% on the CPU. And um, has the eyes been adjusted? I should have zoomed in. There you go. So that one took a few, and maybe because I was doing it so quickly, but it did it fairly well. Now let's apply some skin AI. Again, we're going to crank this. Yeah, pretty much instantaneous. It um, didn't take very long to do the skin AI, but it does feel improved compared to Luminar AI. And I know some of you guys may be having issues because we all have different systems. So if you do, let me know in the comments below because I have a direct line to Skylim when we have our affiliate calls. If there's anything out of whack or that's just, you know, besides the usual bug fixes and stuff, let me know so I can communicate what's going on. But for the most part, I'm very happy with the performance and I can imagine with GPU utilization, it's going to be even more snappier, even more quicker. And uh, it does look very promising so far. The last feature I wanted to share with you is Luminar Share. Now you can find Luminar Share up here in the menu. And if you go to File, Share, you're going to see Luminar Share. Click on that. You'll get a QR code. So I'm going to grab my phone and we're going to scan this. On your mobile phone, it's going to give you some step-by-step -step instructions. So we're going to click on Scan. Say OK. Can't connect to Luminar Neo. <laughs> I am on my Wi-Fi device. OK, let's try this again. Scan. There you go. We got connected. So if that happens to you, try it a couple of times. Now there's a couple of things. You can send photos to Luminar Neo and you can send photos from Neo to your phone. Let me, let me show you this. I'm going to send this photo. I'm going to say add and I'm going to click send to Luminar Neo. Within your catalog, you're going to see a folder called Luminar Share, and you're going to see my photo there. So that's super cool. Now, the other thing you can do with this is we do this again. If we go to Share again and Luminar Share, it's going to export the image to the phone. Now, there you go. So now you see it on my mobile. If I click it, there you go. And then you can share it to, you know, social media. 
You can share it through email or whatever you want to do with that image. So far, I've been fairly positive sharing with you my thoughts on Luminar Neo and its features, but I'll be very honest that I'm a little bit disappointed. And I'm only disappointed because I expected more of a complete program. I was really looking forward to the portrait background removal AI, the mask AI, and for heaven's sake, clone and stamp is not even on this version. Like as I've shared with you before, I do a lot of people photos and since there's no healing brush, I just have the clone and stamp tool and maybe the eraser tool that tends to work fairly well too. So when they announced Neo, I thought that it would just be complete Luminar AI with new features, but we didn't get that. And that's where I'm slightly disappointed. I'm with you. We waited all this time only to find that there are still some things missing, some basic things. And there are things like the catalogs and the templates that can't be migrated over yet. So we're looking at another couple months for these things to come out. So as much as that, I'm excited that Neo's finally out and I get to play around with it and do some editing. I'm also very disappointed that it's not more of a complete program. And I really hope this is not a pattern with Skylum because as an affiliate, I share this with you guys yeah, because I believe in the product. I wouldn't promote anything that I don't use personally. And my hopes is that there's not going to be another thing to buy. Now they have said that Luminar Neo is the foundation to build upon. I do believe that. I'm excited and I'm also disappointed. It's, it's, I'm a Libra, come on, black and white. But most of all, I'm a customer first, you know. I'm a customer because I want to use your product, your complete product. But for now, my friends, get out there, hit record, create, and I'll see you when I see you.